Uh, you are most welcome again. On this video, uh, it's going to be really very important. It's going to be about average if function in Microsoft Excel. In the last video, we looked at the average and then the average a function. So now we are now going to look at how can we use the average if function. First of all, this is a function in Microsoft Excel that helps to calculate the average of a range of cells that meet a certain criteria. Uh, so as you see, I have these values. These are the cells of a laptop, a. Eh? uh in dollars i put in dollars and put this in what in dollars so meaning uh all this is how this uh sells when laptop a was sold and this is how it has been sold out like this is one version of laptop it can be maybe hp or their laptop version and this is how it has been sold uh, throughout the period so now uh, we are told to calculate the average if a certain condition is met or a certain uh, criteria is met so in order to do that there are things we are going to follow one is that we are going to have the syntax. Of course, the syntax starts with equal sign. I will start with equal sign and then I type the name of the function, which is average if. And then the average if, if uh, after opening the parenthesis, you need to put the range. What's the use of the range? This one will specify the range of cells that you want to test against the criteria. So in this case, uh, this range is going to start from uh, C23 which is the uh, the starting value. And then you have to use the semicolon uh, to put the range. Of course, now the range, uh, it ranges from 20, C23 up to C31. So I go ahead and put C31. So that's what we call the range. And I, I repeat, the range will help to, to specify uh, the range of cells, the range of cells, that you want to test against the criteria. The range of cells, these are cell uh, from C23 up to C31. So these are the range of cells that we want to uh, specify, I mean, we want to test against the certain criteria. Then after that, we go ahead and type a comma, and then we write the criteria. Uh, the criteria is that, uh, is that one that specifies whether you want to test against. This can be a number, text, or a logical expression. So now, uh, for example, uh, this could be, I can say, I want you to get for me the average if, uh, or I want you to get the average for all the value, or all the sales that were uh, above $50, you know? All the sales that were above $50. So here, after putting the equal sign, I'll go ahead and open uh, the parenthesis. Uh, I mean, I'll open the code, and uh, then I'll say I put uh, greater than. So I want to say all the cells which is greater or equal to 50, and then from there, I close the, uh, the code, and then from there, I close the bracket. Now, when you see this function, first of all, I have the range uh, from C23 up to C31. After that, then I want to test this. I want to test the criteria by saying, uh, please, uh, can you specify that uh, you want to add the average of all the cells that were uh, greater or equal to $50? If that one uh, meets uh, the criteria, then go ahead and uh, type equal sign, I mean, press and enter, and then you will be able to get the what? The average. So this average is got by first analyzing the table and then to select only the values, all the values which are equal and, equal and greater than 50. Like I can get 60, seven, I can get this, I can get this, I can get this, 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 and then I think to ignore 23. 
Let's try to calculate here down without using the if function, but only without the, uh, applying the if on the average by just calculating the average. So I'll go ahead and say average. I'll go ahead and say average. Then I'll get the first value 67, this one, this, 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 and that. Then cross the bracket. As you see this function, it has picked all the values which are greater than 50. And the, because I don't have any value which is equal to 50, I only have values which are greater than 50. So it has ignored all the values less than $50. Then after that, click uh, enter, then you can see I will still get the same answer, 71.4285743. So meaning that my function here is really working well and it's really perfect, it's really, really perfect. So I can give another example. This was example one. This is example one. I can put here another example too. I can here put another example too. And on this example too, I'm going to say max, max of uh, max of student, student uh, A in biology. Max of student A in biology. So now after that, I'm going to put the max. This is student, called student A can be, uh, Alex can be Amos, it can be Annette. So I'm going to assign this person max randomly. I put this. Uh, so after okay, putting these marks, now I want to get the average. What was his average performance? Uh, but now I want to get only the average for the marks, which is greater than 50, because any mark squared, which is less than 50, I take that as a failure and I don't need to consider it uh, when I'm trying to calculate the grading of this person. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and type equal sign, and then I put the function name, which is average if. After that, I'll go ahead and put the range, which is 63 as the first value, and then I put the semicolon. Uh, then I go ahead and uh, put the last value, 78 is in E, E31. That is low, I mean column E, low 31. So I put E31. Is at eight, no, it's at one. After that, go ahead and close the bracket. No, before you close the bracket, I put equal sign and put the criteria. So in this criteria, I'm saying, I want you to get, I want this formula, I want this function to calculate for me the average of only the max that were scored, but it is above, uh, say, uh, 50 or 55. So we can say, uh, open quotes and say all the marks above 55 and then uh, close the quotes, then close the bracket. So meaning this function is going to analyze, going to check all the marks, then to see what are those marks that are greater than 55. After identifying these marks, then to go ahead and calculate the average for that. Then when you press enter, you realize now I have 75.8 uh, as the average. So how can I prove this? I'm going to prove this with you uh, by calculating the, so by like checking manually the values which are greater than 55, and then I, we calculate the average together. So I'm going to get, say equal sign average, equal sign average function, open a bracket, then I put value one, then I put value two, value three, value uh, four, then five. So as you see, I have ignored the, three values, 23, 34, 34, because all these values are less than 55. After that, go ahead and cross the bracket and then press enter. Then you see, I still get the same answer. So normally this is how we can use the average a function by putting to mind that we need to first of all, check the range, the range of the cells where the values are. After we have to put the criteria of where 
which we want to uh, uh after put the criteria to specify to to specify like the criteria like uh which criteria you want to test against uh this could be numbers could be text or logical expression that evaluate to true or false and after that you can also uh, put the average range as an optional argument that specifies the range of the cells that you want to calculate and the average of and if omitted the function will use the same range as the range argument for the calculation and generally this is how it has been in the next video we shall still look at other function which are related to average in the statistics and the, uh, see how best we can advance on our microsoft excel skills please continue to subscribe to our channel tabitox and also for our website tabitox.com and so that you can get all these videos and other many videos that comes in every time every day thank you let's catch up in the next video